Now, although there are no reports of any fresh casualties from the northeast, the flood situation there remains grim in Tripura and in Assam, where several more areas are affected. In Assam, 4 lakh people are affected and are in seven districts, and in Tripura, rivers are overflowing, forcing nearly 40,000 flood-affected people to take shelter in relief camps, and more than 1.5 lakh people remain marooned in flood-hit districts of Manipur as well. And Ratnadeep Chaudhary is now joining us for the very latest on the flood situation in the northeast and Ratnadeep what is the latest that you're picking up have things settled down uh, I, you were reporting that there are no fresh casualties but what is uh, as far as the relief operations are concerned that's right where we in fact uh, there have been no casualties as of now according to uh, the official uh, reports which are available which are pouring in from all the states in the past 24 hours so that's a relief in fact uh, in the past four days 12 people have died but there's no casualty in the past 24 hours so the situation remains grim in tripura particularly not tripura where you know indian air force was pressed into service yesterday uh, in terms of reaching out to the maroon people with uh, relief material also assam rifles was pressed into uh, rescue of uh, maroon uh, people in manipur so in tripura uh, the situation remains grim with uh, fresh areas getting inundated with fresh rains. In Assam, uh, over uh, 3 point, uh, over 3 lakh 60 thousand people are affected. Now that means that a lot of people, a lot of new areas have got inundated. This is precisely because, again, uh, due to uh, heavy rainfall in the adjoining hills in Karbiang Long, uh, the plain areas of uh, Hojai uh, has the district has got affected yesterday. But the worst affected in Assam is the district of Haila Kandi and Karim Ganj in southern Assam. Southern Assam this time is the most affected area and although there have been uh, a bit of uh, less uh, rains in the past 24 hours, in fact the rains have weakened, but till today there are uh, predictions and warning of heavy rainfall. So this is something that the authorities are worried uh, about this is because if there is heavy rain, it not only increases the chances of fresh inundation, but also hampers the relief and rescue operation. As far as Manipur is concerned, the situation has improved slightly with water receding in most part of the state capital uh, in fall. But again, we are getting information from that in the last 24 hours, there have been fresh inundation in other areas of the uh, Imphal Valley, particularly the, the adjoining areas and adjoining Thawal district. So overall, there has been a, a bit of improvement in the situation in Manipur. In Assam, all the fresh areas have been inundated. There have been no uh, uh, deaths in the past 24 hours. Uh, but the situation in particularly Haila Kandi and Karimgan district in southern Assam remains uh, grim. But the situation in Tripura, particularly not Tripura, is grim because fresh areas are getting inundated. In fact, uh, uh, BJP national president Amit Shah was supposed to travel to Tripura on 18th of this month to uh, commemorate 100 days of the BJP-led government in Tripura, but he had cancelled his visit to Tripura uh, uh, in view of the flash floods. Uh, so has been the cancel of, uh, cancellation of the Vice President uh, Venkaya Naidu's visit to Sikkim because right, President Sikkim is witnessing a lot of rain, so the situation right. still remains grim in Northeast right. Berlin. Right, Ratandeep, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the latest on the situation in the Northeast.